Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to yet another video. This morning, we are out here nice and early. The sun isn't even thinking about coming up, and we're going to be doing some kayak fishing for some giant fish. Now, there is a reason why I'm starting the video out here on the water already, and that is because I had one of the scariest experiences that I've ever had kayak fishing, or probably ever, and it wasn't even when I was out on the water with my kayak. So we're gonna to have to do a little bit of a story time when we get set up and situated this morning. But first of all, I'm just gonna pedal out to one of my favorite little spots or areas, have a sound around and try and target some giant snapper. If I had to guess, I'd say for the first hour or so, we're gonna be sitting very, very awkwardly because there is a tide change at the moment, but when the tide swings, it's gonna be wind with tide so it will be absolutely perfect trevally fresh fresh trevally this was caught extremely recently so pristine baits we've got get the first bait of the morning out little squid strip that should be pretty good look at that one that's a goodie 80 bkk circle with big chunk of trevally that's a nice bait final bait this one's going against the current a little bit because we're still sitting very awkwardly Yep, good fish. Got one. Yep, we've just hooked up. We are on. Wow, that didn't take too long at all, and we've just hooked up to a really good snapper by the looks of it. Yeah, it feels big, eh? Yes. Oh, sitting super, super awkwardly in the current, but yet we've still hooked up to a really good fish. 100% a snapper. Can feel from the head shake straight away. Man, haven't even got into telling my story yet. I've only just got all the rods out and one's already buckled over with a good fish. Let's see if we can get him up. He's dragged me around very awkwardly. It's gonna be a good fish. Big head shakes, very big head shakes. Yes, man, how good is this? <laughs> this is a good change after what happened this morning, man. I'm so happy to be out here and it's even better. No, just just got off. Oh, that was a good fish. I was gonna say it's even better to be into a fish. Man, that stings a little bit, but it's a good sign. Good start to the morning. Already had the one buckle. Hopefully that's not the only one though. I reckon we'll try and tick off the first fish of the morning and then we'll get into the story. Oh, that rod's gonna go here. Yep, we got something. We got something. I don't know what that is. A snapper. That's what that is. Another snapper. Not as big as the last one though. I don't think. Fighting very weirdly because we're going against the current. What a good start to the morning, man. We've only been out here for five, 10 minutes. And this is the second fish hookup already. Don't know if he's as big as the first one we had on. That felt like a cracker, but this one's gonna be big too. Good head shakes. Hopefully we can get this one in, eh? It's a good fish. Oh. There we go, got him. First good snapper of the morning, yeah. That is a really nice fish as well. We just got out here. We've already got the one. He's gut hooked, I didn't really want to keep any fish today. Oh. We've got a fish playing with this one. Yep, yep, there we go, another one. Wow, how was that? He just took off. Set the hooks on him and he was on. Oh, that's another big one. Another big fish. Yes. Only just got out here this morning and this is, oh, this is a big one. This is bigger than the first. Oh, third hookup of the morning already. Haven't even got the other bait out, which just took off and we're hooked up to another giant. Man, this is good. This is good fishing. The other line's going underneath the kayak. This is a big fish. Yep, this is another big fish. What an awesome, awesome start to the morning. This is exactly how you want it to go. Already hooked up to the second of the morning. He's a good one too. Now I've got to get this net over. Oh, he's on the anchor rope. There's the first fish. I'm gonna have to try a pedal back over the anchor rope and get him. I can see him, he's a good fish. He's a really big fish. I need to pedal around. We got him. Most awkward net job ever. 
Woo. We got him. Oh, what a mission that was. Oh, the other one's on. Oh, we missed him. No, we didn't. Yep, the other one's on. You're kidding. Triples, triple hookup. Oh, how's this? <laughs> there, this is nuts. I've got the anchor rope all tangled up, but we do have another fish on. How am I gonna get him in? I have no clue. What a crazy start to the morning. Haven't even got to tell my story yet. <laughs> it's just been chaos, absolute chaos. Been battering the cameras around. There's actually more, just as much, or if not more weight to this one than the other ones. This could be big. We've got such a mess though. I don't know what to do. Oh, goodness. We'll get a look at him and see just how big he is before we decide what we're gonna do because we've got a massive mess. Massive mess. It's gonna be big, I think, eh? Just gauge how big he is. Oh, it's a tank. It's a tank. I need to cut that line or something. I'm just gonna loosen that drag off. Loosen that drag way off. He's the biggest of the day and he's just sitting in the holder. This is once again chaos. I think the anchor's good now. The anchor's all freed up. Let's try and get this second fish in the net now, I guess. Oh, it's an absolute beauty. It's the biggest of the day, easily. Um, we have no baits out again. We have three fish on the deck. So this is the fish, which we're gonna keep. Really, really nice snapper. First one of the morning. It's still actually a really big fish, eh? Beautiful big fish, but the other ones which we've got in the net are bigger, even bigger than that. And that's an absolute cracker. Oh, what a reward for such a weird, weird morning. It's been, wait till you guys hear the story. I don't even know if I can tell it now that I'm so excited. Two of those were on fresh Trevally, and I'm only gonna run circle hooks from now on. So there's another big bait on the circle. Big boy. Measurement, about 77. He's a really, really nice one. Oh, how's that? What an awesome little snapper. Man, we had pretty much a triple hook up then, three fish on the deck, lost one more as well, and ever since we haven't had barely any bites, so the action's kind of slowed down a little bit, but what a cracking, cracking fish. There he is there, what a beautiful looking fish. We're just gonna send him off. Here we go. There he goes, straight down. We've got an even bigger one in the net there. He is definitely a slightly better fish compared to that last one, which we just held up. An absolute cracking few snapper, three good ones. And we've got a monster fish on there. Don't know what that is though. I've switched to circles though now. I don't want to keep any fish. So running all circles, going to get that hook out and get him going. See you later, mate. Down the slide, he'll go for sure. He's been in the net rejuvenating and when you keep him healthy in the net, they take off. There he goes, cruises down. I actually love having this massive net because I can just keep the fish like as healthy as anyone could ever keep them. Like they couldn't be in better nick when I let him go. Don't know if you can tell, but we've got some sort of nasty little critter on here. Skate, this is gonna be a skate, I'm calling it. Skates do exactly this. They'll just come up like a bit of a dead weight with those real big wing flaps. Skates are very stereotypical. They do the same thing every time. The action has slowed down a fair bit. So I think I'm gonna go over what happened this morning and why I was so shook up and scared. So I arrived to where I wanted to launch at about 3.30 a.m. this morning. So very, very early in the morning. The only people who access or go to this area at this time are boaters, kayakers, and the occasional gar fishermen. Um, so I arrived, I parked my car, and then I started taking the kayak off the roof and obviously started setting it up for the morning. So when I was doing that, a random car just strolled down and parked in the car park. Not very out of the ordinary, happens a fair bit. But this car was parked in the car park, the guy got out and there was a toilet block. So the toilet block is fairly close to where my car was parked. So he walked over, went into the toilet and very shortly after he went into the toilet, I just, you know, was unpacking stuff and then I looked around just out of curiosity and where the toilet is, it's very gloomy by the way, you can barely see anything. You can just make out shapes and very, very... I've got a fish on here. I've got a fish on. I've got a fish on. I've got a snapper on. You're kidding. Well, story is on hold, so... Man, my story just got completely interrupted by a big snapper. I'm not going to complain, it feels like a real good one too. Okay. Oh, that's a good fish. 
I thought he was actually a small fish by the way he was pecking at it, but obviously it's not. Very big fish. He hasn't taken any big runs, but it just... That rod's going to go. That's another one. Yeah, that's another one. Another double. Hopefully he stays on. We haven't really set the hook in him, so he could get off. If we get one of the two, I'll be happy. Well, it's a good way to get your story interrupted. It's going to be a big fish as well. Oh. <laughs> How's that? This arm's getting sore from all the fishing I've been doing. He's going to be very big. Oh, it's crazy big. Oh, this one's really, really big. Like a monster. Oh, this one's huge. <laughs> that is an absolute beast. Yep, we got it. That thing is monstrous. Wow, that's a beast. That's a beast. Is he still on? He is still on. He's been a good little snapper. He stayed in the holder and not put up a fight at all. That's a really big one in that net and he's only just on. Only on by the skin of his lip. He could have got off at any second. That's why you play him light when you're not sure how well they're hooked. You just never know. Maybe I'll just continue my story now. I'll continue my story while I'm fighting a snapper. So I saw the silhouette and I was like, what is that? I kind of had a really good idea that it was going to be a person, but he wasn't moving, he wasn't doing anything, he was staying completely still. And after about 30 seconds, he was there for 30 seconds, just like looking like part of the wall. I started to think that I was just seeing things and that it was actually a part of the wall, but I was like, I'll just make sure. So I got my headlight, shined it right on the spot, and then I knew it was a person. It still didn't move though. He still didn't move for a solid 15, 20 seconds while I was shining my light right on him. And then obviously I got really freaked out as soon as that happened. After about 20 seconds of the light being shined on him, he finally moved and he started walking towards his car. Oh, oh, this is a big fish. But he started walking towards his car, which is in a slightly different direction to where mine was. And he was walking towards it. Then all of a sudden he turns and starts walking towards me, directly towards me, which is nowhere near his car. So I was like, oh crap, oh crap. Um, and quickly, I just said to him, I said like, hey, what are you doing, man? And then he just said, hey. And then he just kept walking towards me. So I grabbed my knife, which was in my pocket, and I was like, preparing for the worst. I didn't know what was gonna happen. Had my knife in my pocket. He, he did a little bit of a walk again. And then all I did this quick movement towards my car. So I was actually gonna jump in my car, lock my doors, and just run him over or something, I don't know. But I was just gonna lock my doors and um, yeah, hope for the best. But when I did this quick movement, I went back towards my car and he must've got startled because he kind of did this weird thing and he just turned right back around. It was scary, scary stuff. He was walking straight towards me. I did this quick 180 to go to my car door and then I just saw him turn around. He walked to his car and drove off. Didn't start fishing or anything, didn't gar fish, didn't go out on a kayak and that's the only reason you would be at that spot. So I was in a bit of a panic. I was tempted to try and go home and just pack my stuff up, but I was already half ready to go fishing. So I just decided I'll just quickly get the gear on. Didn't do an intro in the car park or near the entrance of the water. I just wanted to get out as fast as I could. So I just quickly packed up the kayak, got out here, and now we're dealing with a lot of snapper. That one there is a beast. Hey buddy. He's a real good one. What a crazy session, eh? What a crazy, crazy session we're having. Oh, these are what mornings are made of. Take a look at him, another beautiful, beautiful big fish. He would have to be over that 70 mark as well. I'm guessing low 70s. And you can see that is the perfect circle hookup. That's how you want the 8 to go, right in the corner of the jaw. Let's get him going. Let's see, mate. <laughs> he just got kind of plopped in, he'll be gone. The squid and the trevally is performing pretty much as good as each other at the moment. Get another little bit of squid out. Wow. What a beast. What a beast. Man, that's a big fish, eh? That is an 87 centimetre snapper. <laughs> that is big. Look at that for a snapper. 87 centimetres. It is an absolute horse. What a big, beautiful fish. Best part about this is we're gonna let it go as well. Oh, a fish this big and beautiful just has to be let go. 87 centimeters. What an awesome Western Port snapper. So there you go. Go big girl, straight down. That's how you want them to swim off. 
What a start to the morning. Five snapper we've landed already. Five big snapper. Oh, that's another little tap there. A lot of activity, which is a good sign. What a wild morning. This is the first breather I can take for the whole morning. There we go. What's that? Oh, 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 it's a snapper. <laughs> it is for sure a snapper. It wasn't too, yep. And it's not a bad one. I thought it was just a pinky. I thought it was just a pinky initially, but it's definitely a snapper. How cool is that? <laughs> Quieting down a little bit. Bites have definitely slowed down, but obviously there's still a lot of fish or a few fish in the area. I keep seeing them go through on the sounder non-stop, but we're just not getting that many to commit. Oh, it's a good fish. Very good fish. Here he comes. You will see him soon. This one was on the fresh trevally, as a lot of them have been today. Oh, it's been the gun bait. Us kayak fishermen dream of sessions exactly like this one. Very, very lucky to be able to have another good trip. Look at him. He's a goodie on that trevally. Look at that trevally chunk, still in mint condition. There he is, good fish. He's just crunched that little cube. Let's get a little hold up of you, because you're a beautiful fish, look at that. Another beautiful big snapper. Now, these are an amazing little fish. Circle hook pinned him right in the corner there, you can see. And that's just a beautiful big fish. That'll be another one, probably 70s, or high 60s, low 70s, I'm guessing. That is number six for the morning. We'll spear him off. Go on, skis. Go on. That's just the perfect little snapper bait. Squid strip. Slightly small one, but you get a really good hookup rate if you don't have a too long of a strip and a big circle at the top. He's ready to go. All rods ready for a big fish. Oh, that rod. It's gonna go with something. It's gonna go with something. Oh, just dropped it, I think. That looked good. It's still there. Still there. Yep. Yep, that's a snapper. Feels very big. Oh, that feels big. That is yet another snapper, for sure, on the Trevally. Poof, this has a lot of weight to it. Major. There he goes. This is going to be a big one. Really big one. Powerful head shakes. We're about to see him in just a second. There he is. It's a big red. Oh, this is awesome. This is the session which we all dream of. Yet again, we've had two of them this season. Oh, on the surface, shaking his head. It's a beast. This is a tank. Wow. Putting up a crazy fight too. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is a tank. Oh, that could be like just equal biggest of the day. That is massive. I think that's the seventh one of the day or something crazy like that. We've just had one of those sessions where everything's gone right. Everything has gone right this morning and we've been rewarded with some big fish. Most of them have been on these 8 circles. The 8 circles have been putting in work. Really quality fish. We'll get him going. Got no doubt he's gonna take off super strong. Here he goes. Oh, look at him go. <laughs> he's just taken off. Well, that is me Dunskies for the day. We ended up with seven big snapper total. The biggest was 86, I think, and we caught a couple other absolute monsters as well. And Man, after this morning's scary start, it turned out to be a really, really good day. So if you enjoyed this one, leave a like, comment your thoughts down below. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.